All right, and we're back with another unboxing video. This one comes from Diabolic DVD because it was an exclusive through them uh, from Cauldron Films, and that is Lucio Fulci's Contraband. Now, first thing I hear about this, if you're uninitiated with Polizio Cesky, uh, it's basically a facet of Eurocrime from Italy, especially the Italian ones were especially, especially nasty. They were a dime a dozen. There were tons of them. All the really, really great Italian grindhouse-y kind of directors were doing them. I mean, you got Lucio Fulci, uh, Ruggiero Diodato was doing a bunch. All kinds of those directors. Fernando De Leo. And basically they were copycats of the 70s crime movies that were going on in America. Uh, most notably Dirty Harry, Death Wish, French Connection, because there is a ton of ripoffs of French Connection. But the most interesting thing about these Polizio Cheskis is that they go harder than the American films do. They're heavier, they're nastier, they're louder. A lot of shots are completely stolen. Like how William Freakin completely stole the car chase from French Connection. That was commonplace in almost all of these, especially uh, you'll see a bunch of these kind of films where they're <laughs> chasing cars in Rome and people are just kind of casually banging in the cars in and out, that kind of thing. Yeah, well, that was an everyday occurrence when they were shooting these films. Illegally captured, these things are just balls to the wall fucking crazy. Uh, but they're a ton of fun. I haven't seen Contraband. But I did hear that it's one of the crazier ones, especially because we all know Fulci's a madman. So this comes to us from Cauldron Films. This would be my first Cauldron Films purchase or release or however you want to say it. This was pushed back a little bit because they had some printing problems. I think it was the outside case uh, because there were two different ones you could choose, two different arts uh, art styles you could choose. I chose this one because I like the cover a little bit more. And I believe it they had the discs, but they just didn't have the outside part, so it was pushed back like a few weeks. Honestly, I don't care. Uh, Cauldron Films is very, very, very small. Very small, especially in comparison to something like Arrow, right? Arrow is the giant, and you have Cauldron Films over here doing very small releases, uh, but they're very passionate about what they do. So let's take a look at it. On the back, we have... The Italian title, and you see Cauldron Films right there. So let's open it up real quick. Now, like I was saying, this comes housed in a slipcover. So let's take that out, put this guy over here. I know that as the time of shooting, as the time of me shooting this, this is, it's not out of print. It's just sold out at the moment until they get the pieces. I think what it was is they were satisfying the pre-orders, and then once they satisfied all the pre-orders, they'll open it back up for orders. So if you want this, you do have to go through Diabolic DVD. Um, I think they have some sort of connection or exclusivity deal with Cauldron. I'm not, not entirely sure, but I had to go through Diabolic to get this. So this is your front, and then you have the back, and it has a few special features, new interviews, archival interviews, commentaries, trailers, uh, image gallery. If you want to pause it to check out all the names, you can right there. And then when we open it up, you have your disc, and then you have the alternate title, the Naples Connection. And this does come with a soundtrack. You see right there, there's the soundtrack listing. Little information about the transfer. And then we've got some lobby cards. And they all on the back. Oh no, there's even more, sorry. I'm so used to Arrow having everything on the opposite side be the exact same. There you go. And then your soundtrack is right there. So very nice work. Much smaller. It's on a smaller scale than you would have, say, your Arrow videos. It's not in a ginormous box, but it is quality. It is well made. I'm very excited to check this one out. Now, one thing I do want to note about Polizio Chetskis. If you're interested... People are just starting to get into these things. Companies are just starting to crack into the fact that maybe collectors want them. I personally, I'll give you a few recommendations here. The very first recommendation that I could give you is if you're U.S., 
Start with Rero Video's two volumes of Fernando de Leo films, especially Caliber 9. Uh, the Actually, all four of these movies are fantastic. I would argue this is the better Fernando de Leo box, but the other one's very good too. This collects four of his best. You'd be hard-pressed to come by better Polizio Cheskis. These are very, very, very good examples of the subgenre. So definitely check this one out. Raro Video does really good work. Raro Video actually has everything translated. They have the original Italian track, something that Code Red, I want to point out Code Red doesn't, uh, it's why I hate buying from Code Red, because they have the rights to these films, but they kind of handle them like shit. Uh, sorry, guys. Another thing you could get, when Kino Lorber has sales, you could just get these guys. So, Raro Video often goes on sale with Kino Lorber. The two times of the year that Kino Lorber, two or three times they do sales, you could pick these up pretty easy. I think this cost me $10 when off of Raro Video's website, it's about 20 to 30. Uh, this is a great one. Rogero Diodato, Live Like a Cop, Die Like a Man. This is one that Tarantino always, always, always talks about in interviews and how it influenced him and how there's little bits and pieces in his movies. This one's really, really great. Balls through the wall crazy. And then Arrow's starting to get into these because here's Years of Lead. Now, I believe this version, this version comes with the booklet. I believe this version is now out of print. This was the limited edition one. If you could get these movies in any way, shape, or form, get them if you're interested. Years of Lead is a collection of five lesser known ones, uh, lesser known directors, but they're all very, very good, except for I think there was one that I didn't care much for like rabid dogs but every single one of the other ones i absolutely loved so you can get a brief kind of overview of these if you follow my recommendations obviously there's more than one way to do it you could go on streaming but who you know this is a physical media youtube channel so don't stream it um but I would recommend watching these in Italian. There's something about the music of the language that really lends to the films themselves. I'm really excited about owning Contraband now. I hope there's going to be a few more Polizio Cheskis that are handled in such like a, a nice, loving way um, and not just shit out onto a disc like, uh, like Code Red seems to like to do. Um, I mean, no offense, Code Red, but at least give us the Italian audio track. But yeah, that was just a quick unboxing of Contraband. If you guys are interested, go through Diabolic DVD. They might have some on Cauldron Film's actual website. I'm not entirely sure. But like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.